So we know leadership accountability is a gap. We know how to define it. And yet, why does it persist as a problem in our companies? And that's really what I explored. And, and, and this idea of a leadership contract is what I think is missing. And this idea really is based on a simple concept, that of a contract. Here's what I believe. I believe that it is human nature for us to hold anybody in a leadership role to a higher standard of behavior. It's kind of hardwired in us in humans. Whether that person you know, is the grade three teacher of your daughter's class, whether that person is the coach of your son's sports team, whether that person is a CEO, is a politician, is a business person, is the quarterback of a Super Bowl losing team. We naturally hold anyone in a leadership role to a higher standard of behavior. And when they don't live up to that standard of behavior, they kind of let us down. We kind of get disappointed. And to me, that kind of holding someone to a higher standard of behavior implies that there is a contract. And that when you take on a leadership role in any realm of our society, you're actually signing up for something really important. And so what's the organizational slant on the leadership contract? There are four, obviously, that correspond to each of the four terms. That as an organization, you have to make the decision to make a leadership accountability a business issue. You've got to start having these conversations. As the HRPS survey said, this is an issue, but we're not talking about it. It's time that you talk about it. Bring this topic up with the executive team, with the board. You have a responsibility to actually set clear leadership expectations of your leaders. Our HRPS survey found that only 55% of companies have set clear leadership expectations. So when you don't have them, leaders have to kind of figure it out on, on their own. Some will, but what we're finding is most will not. And how do you do that? By actually creating a leadership contract for your company. I'll give you some examples of that in a moment. You've got to get tough on the tough stuff. You've got to weed out unaccountable leaders. You've got to kind of make it safe to, to speak truth to power so that tough issues can be resolved as opposed to pushed under a carpet. There are tough things that you have to do. You have to resist the temptation to promote technical superstars into leadership roles. And from a community standpoint, you've got to find ways to connect your leaders. Bring them together in forums. Have them connect with one another. Facilitate that. Provide those mechanisms to make that happen. 